Hello? <laughs> Albert here. They want a Supercross training, but I told Ryan I'm not going to ride the Supercross track today. <laughs> because why would I? Don't have a suspension on the right bikes. Uh, also, I need to get in proper shape, and I think the best way to get in shape is to ride the outdoor track. Now I just got to hope that it goes a little bit better than my preview lap last time I was here. And hopefully it's smoother than that so I can have an easier time. But let's face it, when we pulled in, what did we see? <laughs> ruts. <laughs> a lot of ruts. <laughs> so we'll see. Wait, which bike? Hang on. Explain. Okay. What bike are we riding today? Uh, this one. Oh, we're actually going to... Okay. We're going to ride the real, the real one. The real one. The real one. We won't deal with the fake ones over here. We're going to ride the real one. But first, I have to do some bike work. I have to do oil and filter, which is my worst nightmare. Don't know how to do air filter. I used to. On my 09 Cowie 450, I used to do it. 09? 09. Yeah, my first 450 ever. I used to do the filter on that all the time. That's how I learned. Don't know how to do it on this bike, but I'll figure it out. Oil, that's where it's going to really get confusing. You can open up to me. Show me what's inside. Mother Nature made us to intertwine. Lavender elixir, so full of pheromones. Give me one taste and you're gone. What if I can't get you out of my thoughts? What if my seasons don't change? What if you forget to forget me not and we fade away? You're my little flower, blooming in the night, only for an hour. Blanca, sweetheart, nectar so divine. Baby, you're the best part of my life. We freaking did it! Yeah, yeah. You're a professional mechanic. All right, two finger touch to it. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so we okay. do filter. Step five complete. Oil. Now we're doing fuel check. Good enough. I'm gonna do 30s, like right from the get go. I'm not gonna do, my warm up is gonna be a 30. I think, oh my God, good thing I checked. It freaking almost retracted back into the wheel. Oh, oh wow, wait, wait, let me get Thanks, a good look at this. Thanks guys checking my spokes. Wow. Uh, that actually might be completely off of the threads. That's not good. He's fine. For a guy that's going to go hit some big jumps right now. Oh, check out your chair. That's very kind. Okay, we're ready. Do you think I can do a 30? Allie made me a sandwich. Thank you, Allie. Uh, I mean, it'll be hard. It'll be a hard 30. It might be also a very slow 30. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. Mm. Are we going uh, full race mode today? We're going full race mode. Okay, so I got new boots, although they don't look new. I don't think I've worn them. Yeah, I must have worn them. So, <laughs> Fox made the new uh, Instincts, mm -hmm. and one of the biggest changes is the buckles. Like, the buckles is something everybody would complain about. They are prime time. They've fixed the buckle problem. In fact, they're better buckle system than other boots I've worn in the past, so they're really good. What else we got? I'm gonna wear, uh, I'm gonna go full race mode, meaning I'm gonna wear my chest protector, which is not like me, but I just wanna kind of be uncomfortable as much as I can, although that is pretty comfortable. So I'm gonna wear this compression thing from EVS under it, so we don't get the chafage, it's important. Chest protector, um, and then everything else pretty standard. New gloves. Before the season starts, realistic goal okay. for the season. Realistic goal. So I will preface that by saying my, I'm very careful with goal setting and that I don't, um, I don't create a result-based goal ever. Okay. I used to. But for the sake of entertainment purposes, I will give you guys a result-based goal. I just wanted to preface in saying, don't do that. Uh, top five in heat races. I think if I can be top mm. five in heat races, then it'll get me some good TV time. That means I'm in the mix. And then it'll also give me confidence going into the main event. 
And as long as I'm prepared and like and consistent moving forward in the preparation, the main event shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, in the past, the last five years, the main event was impossible, even if I made it to one, because I wasn't fit enough. So I'm hoping that this next two and a half months, the work I'm doing with Coach Evan uh, inside of the app and training off the dirt bike, combined with being here with these guys riding, yeah, I, I better be in shape. If not, if I'm not in good enough shape to complete a main event at pace after all of this, I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> Track preview of the dog pound. We're out here doing 30s today for some reason, so I might as well show you guys the course. Give you one lap. Okay, so I just did a sight lap, kind of cheated. I circled back, uh, but I jumped everything, right? I got that one, that one. Yeah, I jumped everything on the sight lap. Other, I haven't done this one yet. Did you see that case? Which one? Probably didn't look bad, but that thing is steep. Oh, that little double has you cased a, that? Yeah, it has such a steep landing and that, I just right It has off a little it. knuckle on it. Yeah, so does this one though, look at that. Did you case that one? Let me go jump that one. Uh, then it'll at least have jumped everything. Dude, it's I not thought Jet said he, they smoothed it. Oh, is it really still kind of bad? Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh. Become well, a this professional. Is gonna, this, uh, I'm gonna get good fast riding this stuff because it's no joke. This track is no. Got it. So that was scary because that knuckle's big. I didn't want to case that one. Okay, jumped everything. Now I'm going to do a 30, I guess. If you can, Ryan, give me halfway one of these. Okay. And then just however you want to wave me off when I'm done. This is going to be very difficult. I don't, I don't want to think negatively, but this is going to be very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, 30 minutes. Here we go. inside mother nature made us to intertwine lavender elixir so full of pheromones give me one taste and you're gone what if i can't get you out of my thoughts what if my seasons don't change what if you forget to forget me not and we fade away you're my little flower in the night Only for an hour The northern lights My Casablanca sweetheart Nectar so divine Baby, you're the best part Of my life What can I do? Can I say to convince you to stay? All I see are tulips and I'm a hummingbird Heavenly ambrosia in every curve It's fixed. Uh, don't mind me. Just don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me. You have to give me a number one over the jump. <laughs> Well, hang on. Uh, it was 30 total if we're, you know, the pit stop. Counting my intermission? Yeah. Your pit stop to become the number one champion. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Okay. Well. Any thoughts? Or? Yeah, a lot of thoughts. Okay. Very discouraging. Discouraging, I mean, you look good. What? You know what would make life a lot easier, believe it or not, in this situation would be having a 450. Oh, Riding a stock 250 in this track with a 100 rear tire 
Uh, even if I had a sand tire, I think it'd make a world of difference. I'm gonna have to steal one from Jet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have number one on the back, on the side. I'm gonna have 18 in the front. I'm gonna have his tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna steal everything eventually. Um, fitness as far as breathing was good, but then again, I was going such a tempo pace that my heart rate was probably never above 160 at most. I was probably hovering in the 140, 160. Uh, I did get arm pump, but also there's just ruts everywhere. Like that jump doesn't look like anything over there, but there's a giant rut going all, I didn't jump like three laps. Did you catch that? Yeah, there was like three times over there that yeah. even from here, all I heard was, whoa. Yeah, cause there's a giant rut going all the way around the corner, all the way up the jump face. And the landing's like this. Every single landing on this track, like if you mess up, you're gonna frame it big time. And then Dazzy was just telling me that the other Supercross pad is the gnarliest one that 402 Tracks and Trails has ever built. <laughs> and even Jet was like, I'm afraid of it. So ugh, I need to spend a little extra time out here. All right, well, we're gonna hydrate. It's a good first right, At least moto. I survived 30. Yeah, Right. ish. Ish. We cheated, but. 30 with a brief intermission. And we're number one now. By the way guys, make sure you go to club.themotoacademy.com and subscribe to the Moto Academy app. We are putting a lot of effort into the inside of this app to make it the best training experience possible for you guys. And not to mention, we have a really, really cool trip giveaway that we are about to announce. Shouldn't say that publicly, but that's okay. We're gonna announce it soon and it may or may not involve somewhere, that guy. It's going to involve that guy. So go subscribe to the app. Best tra motocross training you guys can do, especially going into the off season to be able to keep the tools sharp. It's got an off the bike program as well for you guys. It's got a mechanic masterclass. Uh, Jet is inside of there with us. I, we have so much going on in the app. It's awesome. Go to the app store, download it, or just go to club.themotoacademy.com. Okay. One more 30. Moto two. Here we go. Moto two. Seasons don't change What if you love me then you love me not And we fade away You're my little flower Blooming in the night Only for an hour The northern lights My Casablanca sweetheart Nectar so divine You know what? As simple as that would seem for somebody that rides all the time, that is really, really difficult. But you know, like what I've learned 
from being successful now in business in these last few years is all you have to do is just keep going and don't give up. And it's way easier, to be quite honest, to do that on a dirt bike track than it is to do that in life and in business. But it, I was going to pull off, and then I looked at you, and I was hoping you were going to give me the time, and you did. You said five minutes left. I'm like, oh, I could do five minutes. And now I feel much, much better about myself that I completed that. Do you want to know why you're even cooler than you think you are? Why? Because I lied to you. There were seven minutes left. Oh, it did feel like a long time. <laughs> Uh, is it hot out? Uh, mm, you're just working. It's got to be what is it, 95? No, it's probably like low 80s. Is it low 80s? I yeah. was being totally kidding when I said 95. Yeah. Low 80s. Okay, I'm proud of myself. 230s. We did it. We did it. And my gear still smells like Lilabo. Love that. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I tell you what. For those of you that are just getting back into it, don't dive into a outdoor track where if you're going to case something you're going to kill yourself obviously this is a bit of an exaggerated extreme but just set a goal to just do laps for me i just wanted to do 30 minutes it, i didn't care what pace obviously when you guys watch that i'm sure it looks embarrassingly slow for me um but that's okay all i wanted to do is finish um and i did it and now i feel good about myself what did jet say did jet say i look really slow uh, we were getting the, the pro tips from Jet and Ethan, and they were just like, just go faster. <laughs> I probably look really slow. No, they were saying that they could tell that it's like, you're a little bit hesitant to commit to doing some stuff at mm -hmm. speed. So they're just like, you know, increase the commitment level. And speed. It also didn't help that my worst turn on the track was this one that was right in front of the mountain. Yeah. Where they noticed how slow I was. Well, to be fair, when he was talking about this big sweeping thing, yeah. the outside one, yeah. he was like, yeah, that's like the hardest turn on the track. Well, in my struggle, when you don't ride a lot, maybe some of you guys can relate to this. Um, and Dazzy, Jet and Hunter's dad, talk about this all the time, is eye speed. And I never really thought about it that much, but being rusty on the bike for me... I know how to do all the things. I might be out of shape a little bit, yes, but the hardest thing for me on this track, especially, is I, is catching up with my eyes. Mm. My eyes can't keep up with how fast my bike is going, and then my vision gets blurry. I actually have a really bad headache right now, and you just get lost within the rut. So the best thing you guys can do, that's why corner tracks are so important, but you need to ride frequently so that your eyes can keep up with what's going on. Or I'm just getting old. Jeez Louise, maybe I'm just getting old because I never noticed that before. Okay. All right, let's go. Day one, water. super cross training. Didn't touch the super cross track, but I would consider that productive day. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I feel let's good go about myself. You're down. Great. How do you get up here? Oh my gosh. Okay, day one of super cross training, not on the super cross track. Success. The 230s. Uh, and then Tate had a genius idea. We found a shed in the back that is apparently Tate's shed, and he never told us. So <laughs> it's a top secret shed, unbelievable. But yeah. we're gonna make a podcast studio, yeah? Yeah. And I think we're gonna have the Moto Academy podcast, and we're gonna have to maybe rename it or just have a podcast at Tate's own. And we're gonna make a sweet studio. So Ryan, Jackson, you guys are in charge of making a, a cool studio. <laughs> what are your checklists? You want a big TV? What, yeah. Is there anything else you can think of that you need in there? Big speaker box. Yep, good idea. Anything else? A music room. Mu a music room, cool, we could do that. Anything okay. else or that's it? That's it. That's it, okay. easy, we can make that happen. Okay, exciting stuff. Um, I'm, I'm tired, I'm gonna go take a nap. Toodaloo. <laughs> uh, by the way guys, this is the track I'm gonna have to ride eventually. Brad at 402 just finished it. Um, doesn't look forgiving. It looks absolutely massive. So look at the thing behind you. Uh, that's a triple takeoff, apparently. I don't. It, it's not going to do any justice in video, I'm sure. But you got to land all the way the heck over there. Jeez. And the supercross triple is the easiest part of the track. So Goodbye. why do I do such a scary sport? Okay. Dripping over my imagination, the fragrance keeps flowing straight down to my soul. What if I can't get you out of my thoughts? What if my seasons don't change? What if you love me then you love me not and we fade away? You're my little flower, blooming in the night, only for an hour.